They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. That's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Hello everyone, my name is Janae and welcome, welcome back to my channel. It is a Monday. I have practicals every Monday and this week started off as what seems to be a very great week. Here I am dressed up. I am dressed appropriate to render services to clients. I have my knees covered, my shoulders covered, and I feel super confident and comfortable in this outfit. And I am ready to go. This was the most hectic week, one of the most hectic weeks in my second semester it is the last week before fourth term or rather before recess it's basically the last week before term three and i had so much for this week i had practicals which ends very late i had classes of course in the morning each day except on a thursday I had a big test the following day, which is a Tuesday. I also had weekly reports, which were due Wednesday, and a big academic essay on the Friday. My Monday was pretty fine. I was very enthusiastic about the day. I went to Prague and I was able to deliver whatever that I had to and I was feeling very much optimistic but I had to come back and of course prepare for my big test of filling day which means I had to stay up all night and study. I thought everything was well until I had a mental breakdown. I was super, super, super exhausted. I'm just here to let you guys know that it's not easy going through sad episodes and it's okay to feel down sometimes but remember there's always hope and things will get better you are strong and you are capable and you have what it takes to overcome any challenge it's okay to feel sad sometimes but don't let the sadness consume you there's so much more to life and so many more opportunities waiting for you don't give up and don't lose hope I'm also here to let you guys know that it's okay to feel sad sometimes, but it's also important to remember that it is only temporary. Sadness doesn't last forever. Life can be very overwhelming sometimes, but you have the power to change that. It starts with your mindset. You can choose to focus on the negative or to choose to focus on the positive. Choose to see the good in life and you'll start to feel more positive. When you feel positive, you attract more positivity into your life. It's a cycle that you can control. I know for a fact that I'm much stronger than I think. I've made it through hard times before and I can do it again. Even though I feel at my lowest, I always try to remember that I have strength and I'm resilient. And so, I can do this. 
It's completely normal to have sad episodes from time to time. It's a natural part of life. Even the happiest people experience sadness sometimes. It's important to allow yourself to feel sad when it happens and not to try to push it away. In fact, feeling sad can be a healthy way to process difficult emotions. The key is to be sad, but not let sadness consume you. If it starts to feel overwhelming, that's when you need to take some time for self-care. I've locked myself in my room the whole week, dragged myself to my bed, and it is a Sunday, and I finally feel so much better. I've tidied up my room, washed my clothes, and that's all that matters.